Welcome students. Today we are going to discuss about Frandulich adsorption isotherm and in this video we will basically uh, discuss about effect of pressure on the adsorption of gases on solids. So let's discuss our let's start our discussion about the effect of pressure on adsorption of gases on solids. Before uh, starting the discussion about pressure, let's have a look about the effect of temperature on adsorption. We know that adsorption is an exothermic process. Exothermic process that means whenever we increase the temperature, adsorption decreases. And the adsorption of gases on solids highly depends on the temperature. Whenever we will increase the temperature, the rate of adsorption of gases on solid will decrease highly. Okay, so if we want to discuss the effect of pressure, we always need to take it at constant temperature. So temperature must be constant whenever we're talking about the effect of pressure on adsorption of gases on solids. Okay, so at a given temperature, the extent of adsorption will increase with increase in pressure of the gas. Whenever we increase the pressure of gas, its rate of adsorption gets increased. So this extent of adsorption directly depends on pressure. So the question comes, how do we denote this extent of adsorption mathematically? This is denoted by a quantity x upon m. Here x is the mass of mass of adsorbate mass of adsorbate where and m is the mass of yes adsorbent adsorbent x m is the mass of adsorbent and x is the mass of adsorbate and the ratio of these two masses x upon m is known as extent of adsorption and this extent of adsorption depends on pressure whenever we increase the pressure extent of adsorption increases okay so and the most inter interesting thing is that whenever we plot this extent of pressure extent of adsorption with pressure we get this type of plot and from this type of plot we are able to know that whenever we increase the pressure extent of pressure increases and then at certain point it gets the maximum value and after that it becomes it becomes constant so there is a certain pressure at which the adsorption reaches a maximum value this one here this is the maximum value for adsorption and this and the pressure which is related to this maximum value of adsorption is known as saturation pressure. At certain pressure, the adsorption reaches a maximum value. That means adsorption becomes saturated and this pressure is known as saturated pressure. If we further increase the temperature, the pressure, the value of adsorption remains constant. It does not increase anymore. Okay, now we can divide this uh, plot this graph this curve in fact into three reason the first reason when the pressure is very low the second area when pressure is intermediate and the final one when pressure is high the pressure is very high so what happens what we see that at low pressure x upon m that means adsorption extent of adsorption varies linearly with P. in fact up to this point if we see the plot is almost straight that means x upon m is directly proportional to p it is directly proportional to p because it is almost straight line or we can eliminate this proportionality sign by a constant k this so this is the condition when pressure is low extent of adsorption is directly proportional to pressure at in at very high pressure when the pressure is very high in this region in fact this to this region we see that extent of adsorption is almost independent of the pressure we keep on increasing the pressure but the extent of adsorption remains 
same constant it does not increase anymore that means we can write for this particular area x upon m does not depend on pressure or power zero it is independent of the pressure or we can write it in this form x upon m is equal to k p power zero or x upon m is always constant adsorption the extent of adsorption is constant it does not depend on pressure in case of intermediate what about when the pressure is intermediate that means within this particular area in this area when the pressure is neither too low nor too high we have just find out this experimentally that x upon m yes it depends on pressure raised to power 1 upon where 1 upon n where n is yes a natural number or we can rewrite this in this form also x upon m is equal to k p 1 by n so this is the condition this is the equation for the intermediate pressure range adsorption that is in this way okay so these were the three condition when the pressure is very uh, low this is in the criteria when the pressure was very low this is for the very high pressure and this is for the intermediate pressure x upon m is equal to k p power 1 by n where n is a natural number okay so we have just seen here that for intermediate pressures extent of adsorption is equal to k into p raised to power 1 by n if i take logarithm for the both side of this equation we get log x upon m is equal to log k plus log yes p 1 by n why this because we know that log x y is equal to log x plus log y okay and i can rearrange this form of equation once again to write it in this form log x upon m is equal to log k plus 1 upon n log p now this form of equation gives me a, a very interesting information that this is a form of equation if i compare this with the equation of straight line y is equal to m x plus c what i am able to see that if i plot a graph between uh, with log x upon m on y axis and log p on x axis i will get a straight line with slope equal to 1 by n slope equal to 1 by m and the intercept is equal to log k so this is a plot of log x upon m with log p a straight line slope is equal to 1 by n and log k is the intercept and this is known as frandelich adsorption isotherm i hope all the things were clear to you let me finish with this thank you